Hi everybody, it's Diane. Yes, this is me in the picture um, with Pom Pom. This was when I was uh, at Big Blue Bubble uh, two years ago in June. I, um, they gave me a trip to come visit them. And so I did that two years ago, um, coming up soon here. Um, so I wanted to make a video today to show you the process. I actually made this mascot uh, for uh, Big Blue Bubble, and I just wanted to show a few images, a couple short little video clips of the process of me creating um, Pom Pom. I actually bought fur online, and uh, I bought a, a spandex, a lycra, that I used two different colors and made the stripes. And um, yeah, she turned out really, really cool. So we're gonna go up here. So this was kind of um, the beginning of creating Pom Pom. And so I have the image, our image that we know of Pom Pom. And uh, I found a uh, website that uh, sells fur and this one was called a gorilla animal long pile fabric in fuchsia that i purchased that was uh, pretty close in color and i did end up um, spray painting with an acrylic paint um, to make it just exactly the color that i wanted it to be um, isn't this a perfect rare pom-pom uh, color ha <laughs> ha it is um, so a few other fabrics i took some dimensions um, so I could use that in creating the mascot, um, more measurements that I kind of used as guidelines, more fabrics that I looked at. Here's the fur. Um, um, actually, that's not the fur that I bought. This was one I considered, but it wasn't long enough. So um, that is uh, artist sheet that they shared with me so I could, um, yeah. Oh, this I made, um, <laughs> I actually spray painted uh, yarn. I, I, I dyed yarn and hung it <laughs> um, in the trees at my home to, I may not have that here. Okay, I don't have that in this collection. But yeah, so this is that yarn. I was trying to figure out how I was going to make the pom-pom. I had no idea how that was going to happen. Um, and uh, to make the pom-poms, it didn't work out. I tried several different ways to make the pom-poms. Did not work out. Um, so I ended up using fur. Um uh, this was my sister as we were kind of creating the shape and um, working on the pom-poms. So a little bit out of order, but this is pretty funny. Hey, Nana, hey, Nana, hey, Nana, I should be singing. Hey, no. Huh? I should be singing. Oh, you should be singing. Yeah. Hey, Nana, hey, Nana, hey, Nana, hey, Nana, hey, Nana, and you're going to die when I post that on YouTube, aren't you? <laughs> That's my sister, Lori, inside um, Pom Pom as I'm kind of... This was what the shell start, kind of began to look like. This was the shape that's inside of the mascot, only it became much rounder. Um, but um, that was... Um, here I am creating the uh, Pom Poms uh, ponytails. Um, so these were just a few shots of kind of the process and uh, I did have styrofoam balls inside the ponytails but took them out they didn't work out and ended up filling it with a um, fiber fill like just you know like a stuffed animal would be um, yeah so this was just the process of all of those parts that it took to make all the different steps it took to make the ponytails. Um, I don't know. I guess I was documenting it, thinking I might um, maybe one day make another one. I don't know. This was kind of <laughs> the beginning of what the face, uh, kind of trying to place where the eyes would be and place where the mouth would be. Um, the fur is pretty straight up and down. I added uh, panels to that to make it flare. 
I just wanted to see how well that foam shell that was inside there, how my sister could move around in it and sit in it. And here she's looking a little bit different because I've got some the pom-poms in her head. Um, this one I actually was slipping her on so I could just take a video of it so I could see how it was looking. I was starting already in this video to add um, some sections to make her skirt flare out. So I wanted to see how it moved, but I couldn't. There were no holes cut out. I couldn't actually look in a mirror and to look at it. My sister was not there that day. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a Super Mario quilt that my sister and I made that's on the floor. <laughs> I'm trying to feel around in the <laughs> darkness of I can't see. <laughs> what a goof I am. Anyway, just playing with her. Um, this was the harness that's up inside the very top of the mascot. Um, and the pom-poms actually then just screw into these... Um, the harness that I made so this I've never done anything like this before I just kind of documented some of it and oh my gosh my shop was covered in pink fur um, but I you see here I made that shell a little bit rounder here I'm making um, the pom-poms this is actual cuts for the pom-poms and then I'm also uh, making um, flares for the skirt so I ordered more fur and cut them out like this. And, uh, oh, this is funny. <laughs> you can actually see the mouth that I did for her here. Look at all the foam on the floor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Swallow your face. <laughs> my sister. Tastes good. Mm. <laughs> oh gosh, too funny. I made her mouth so the tongue actually moves up and down. The mouth is open and the tongue actually moves so she looks like she's singing. Here is um, a pom pom explosion. This is just pieces everywhere of, oh my gosh, all kinds of. Ugh. And here's my little dog Sophie sleeping in the middle of a pile of pom pom fur. Here's the eyes that I'm creating. Um, oh my gosh, what a mess. But hey, you know, it is what it is. There's my sister Lori um, changing the pom-pom sizes that I made the pom-poms. Here's pom-pom looking almost complete. I don't have the other pom-pom done. Put your hand straight point. out to the side so I can see the stripes if you were striped. <laughs> Put your hand straight down. There. Separate your feet a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. She's so funny, my sister. I can't see between the fur boots, but that's pretty good. Jiggle your shoulders. Let me see your other arm. From this angle, it looks like you only have one arm. <laughs> <laughs> look kind of freaky of course my sister's only five foot four and I'm designing this for a six foot tall man oh, but uh, it's turning out really really cool and here's just a picture of her on one of my mannequins um, and still at this point I hadn't created the second pom-pom yet and we hadn't uh, done the toes and I probably hadn't done the spandex uh, suit yet here I'm looking at measurements on creating my own leotard. Um, I'm inside Pom Pom here, I'm outside. Turned on my camera and just <laughs> took her out to the sunlight. You can see one of the boots is almost done. One we're still working on. A police officer drove by while I was outside playing with her, stopped and was staring at me like, what are you doing? Who is that? What is that? 
And so I walked over to the police car in my in this pom pom that day, um, and then slipped it off and was talking to the police officer, explaining to her what I was creating, uh, where I was going to Canada to meet Big Blue Bubble, and she was pretty excited for me. It was a female police officer, but that was pretty fun. It was a hot, sunny day. Um, <laughs> look, I, I, I'm kind of like dizzy. <laughs> I'm so warm and overheated. But, uh, oh yeah, that's a pretty good shot of her face. That's pretty good. Um, this was at the hotel room <laughs> when I actually was in Canada. I put Pom Pom in the bed. And I know one of the uh, um, housekeepers must have seen her in the bed because I was gone from the hotel that day. Um, this was when I presented Pom Pom to them. Um, here's Matt being lifted up by Pom Pom. Monster Handler Pat is inside um, Pom Pom when I presented her to everybody at Big Blue Bubble. This was a shot of me and Dave and Sarah. Um, okay, yeah, there's a uh, pom-pom in the bed <laughs> with a remote in her hand, remote control in her hand. Too funny. Um, and there she is at Big Blue Bubble. And here I am with pom-pom and everybody at Big Blue Bubble. And here was the day I had arrived and I was taking a selfie of myself. I was probably taking a video of standing in front of the Big Blue Bubble uh, logo here. Um, yeah, my favorite picture, my favorite picture. Uh, there's her mouth. Look how big her mouth is um, when you see it away from her and it's sitting on my knees. But this was the day I was creating the mouth. Oh my gosh, everything was such a process. Um, yeah, that was so much fun. Um, I think you've seen those. And then I was able to get a few. When they went um, and presented, Dawn of Fire uh, was released in September of 2015. Pom Pom got to go be part of um, that presentation. So I have a few pictures that they shared <clears throat> of people with pom-pom at that event. So that was really, really, really cool. Dawn of Fire. Um, and it was I was so proud to see pom-pom there amongst. This is the video that um, My Singing Monsters um, put up um, about my trip to see the My Singing Monsters mega fan visit. This was the day I arrived at the airport. Um, it was a storm. We were actually in a tornado watch uh, thunderstorm warning, something like that when I arrived in London, Ontario. Um, but their pom-pom, uh, uh, Furcorn and um, Mammoth were there to meet me. And this was, Matt was interviewing me. Was, uh, they had a couple videographers following me around. And um, they gave me a certificate that presented me as the first mega fan. That was really cool. But, um, yeah, so that's that was really neat. Um, so you may want to check out my uh, video from Big Blue Bubble. I can open it real quick here, maybe. Um, my other iPad, perhaps. <clears throat> I'm opening it up here. Oh, yes. Um, oh, gosh. Um, it, it's so funny. Um, yeah, this is funny. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Diane. I made this bag. I couldn't find anything big enough for pom-pom <laughs> to go into. So I made this huge bag. Which I took on the airplane with me. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. She has become something of a leading authority on all things singing monsters. So this is the video they made about my trip. 
Oh, uh, so you'll have to you'll have to check that out. But that was um, uh, get my hand out of the way here. So uh, oh, we went bowling. We just. That was the day that I gave a uh, pom-pom to them. Oh, all kinds of fun stuff. So you should check out that video. Uh, that was a pretty cool video. But I just wanted to make this video just to give you a, a little peek at what I did. Um, I create. I was creating this mascot two years, two years ago today. I was busy making pom-pom. I'll pause that. That was really cool. So that was um, my visit to Big Blue Bubble at the end here, but um, I just wanted to share a little piece of, um, oh, it took me, oh, I worked on her for a couple months before I went to visit them. Um, and they were shocked and surprised and thrilled with um, my gift of pom-pom mascot. And uh, I had so much fun making that for them, but. I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya!